All right, what's going on? It's Bobby Skinner, Talking Giants, and we got the Week 12 New York Giants offensive line report versus the Philadelphia Eagles. And we're changing it up. As we get later in the year, it's I want to do some different things with the O-line report besides, I don't want to make it the same video every week. One, people will tune out. Two, but it's like, let's, let's learn about some new things. And a hot topic lately has been Saquon Barkley in the running game. What is wrong with the New York Giants running game? We all know the offensive line's bad, but how much is Saquon Barkley... Uh, you know, making an impact on making it worse by dancing in the backfield, which I think is real, but I also think it's become a little overblown, and we're going to go through it because there is a couple yards that Saquon Barkley could have had. But there's also plays where it's like, you know what? If Saquon didn't dance here, this play doesn't go big like the one big run, or it's negative six yards instead of negative three, which is the state that we're in right now. So we're going to go through all 13 of his running plays. That's going to be the O-line report this week. Um... You know, you guys know left guard through right tackle are bad. You know Andrew Thomas is good at this point. It wasn't a perfect game, but a good game. Um, so we're going to we're gonna go through the running game. We're going to figure out what exactly is happening. Who's screwing up? Is it just Nate Solder? Is it Will Hernandez? Is it Saquon Barkley? We're going to go through it. So let's get into it. Like, subscribe. Let's get into it. It was a nice win, though. I, I'm glad we're, talking, we're critiquing after a win. All right, let's get into it. All right, first play. So we got 13 runs. This one was zero yard gain. Inside zone, and this one I think might have been the biggest uh, Saquon dancing bad vision play. So the first one off off the off rip, I think is the one where you can critique Saquon Barkley the most. So zero yards, a lot of dancing. So what happens? So let's look at the ball. Let's look at what's going on at the handoff. Nate Solder is pinning out, so we know we're not trying to get outside the tackles here. What I believe is they are running zone. Well, they're running zone, I believe, for the B gap. They're trying to get into here. But 93, you know, the Eagles, you know, the, the defense gets paid to do their job too. So he presses in the Hernandez and, and kind of sniffs out what's happening. Like, don't let them do what you want. So Will Hernandez isn't able to get any movement upfield and allow Billy Price to come across the face. So Price is in a you know Price is in a losing battle now. I think Hernandez can do a better job stepping through stepping through this block because you see he's lost the pad level battle right now. Now his feet are skinny, so that's a bad block on Hernandez. And Price is screwed. Matt Skura gets beat inside, but Saquon should cut this up. This is the play where Saquon should cut this up. He should be going, you know. Um, now I'm not saying this is going to turn into some great play, but it could have got three, four yards. Like, he should have cut this play up. And he still should have cut it up at this point right here. Still should have cut it up. Yeah, does Skrull's guy get beat? But Saquon can win that. And hell, you never know. Saquon could have turned this into, into a big play. But he's just kind of stuck in like, I got to get to that B gap. I got to get to that B gap. And, you know, this could have been a lot worse. This could have been negative three, negative four yards. But again, this is a play where I think Saquon could have got three, four yards easily. I cut this up. Play number two, we get two yards. Power O, which is when the guard is pulling and, and used as the lead blocker. So this is actually pretty decent blocking for the most part. You got Ingram out here actually holds up pretty well for what we would expect Ingram versus, uh, you know, I don't even know who that is. Is that Sweat? Thomas and, and Skur are doubling to this linebacker, trying to get move him down. So that's good hat placement. Now, Skur ends up losing in the end because he allows this person to get a... Uh, Get across, get across his helmet. See how he moves back over there. You don't want that. Hernandez actually with a really good lead block, and then Price and Solder on the backside. I think Saquon should have followed this through, and it could have turned a two-yard run into a three or four-yard run. You know, and it'd been it'd been one thing if if hey he was trying to get through the B gap between these two players, and then it's like oh well he crossed his face. And he, but but you can still go through that. You know what I'm saying? You can go through that tackle and line up, end up around here. 
But again, because Saquon's dancing, it ends up being a two-yard carry of what could have been a four-yard carry. Or you could have just followed Hernandez right off of the inside of his hip. Run through this. Again, you're not going to get a touchdown on it. You're not going to get a 10-yard gain. But you could have got four yards. And four yards a pop is, is kind of like that baseline between good and bad. You know? All right, next one. One-yard play. This one is not on, on Saquon Barkley. Inside zone. I actually like what the Giants scheme-wise did. Uh, instead of having to work these two to this player, just have Evan Ingram come up, pin out on the corner. Thomas is blocking out. And Skura falls. So Saquon gets what he can on that one. It's a one-yard game, but he gets what he can. Just lo- I mean, as simple as that. Loses his balance and falls. Price is now in a losing battle. But also, what doesn't help is the backside of these guys getting squeezed down. Like, sh- this should stop right here. But instead, you're getting squeezed down and down. I mean, Fletcher Cox just handling Will Hernandez. Because if that gets stayed right around here, well, Saquon might be, cut this up and get some yards. But because both these guys are getting squeezed down, there's nothing for him to do. He gets one yard, and that's the, the one yard that he could have gotten on that play. I mean, he had to literally jump over, you know, essentially jump over Matt Skura. Next play, here's the big one, 32 yards. This is a draw play. And this is Saquon making a, a good play. So we see it's a draw. Uh, you know, Sol, uh, Thomas influencing, Solder influencing, Hernandez influencing. You have uh, Chris Myrick, the greatest tight end in NFL history, coming around, pulling around, pinning out. Good job. Price and Skur working this player to the linebacker. Good job. Like, this is a good job. Even if even if this play stops right here, it's a good run. Right here. You get yourself. But that's... I mean, this is the Saquon magic. And I don't... I don't really want to take this away from him. You know? Where a Devontae Booker, this is a 3-4 yard run. to You know, right around here. So I don't necessarily want to take this away from him. But I also would try and get into his head. Like, hey man... Start making those plays after you gain three, four yards. Like what she did here. You know, worry about getting those two, three yards. And then if you see stuff opening up, then that's when you go and make those big plays. But then it's again, seeing all the linebackers coming in here. This defensive line is here. Let me get, let me get going. Let me get scooting. So again, I don't want to totally take that away, but you've they've he's got to find a balance within it. But you're gonna see the rest of these plays, honestly. Like I don't, there's there's really not a lot of oh Saquon screwed this play up. Now this is a negative one yard. Put John Ross in motion. Like this play is not Saquon's fault at all. Chris Myrick gets totally shed. Andrew Thomas and Matt Skura. Bad double team. I mean, this is bad already. You're not hip to hip. You get no movement on it. I mean, you got two on one. You get no movement between Skura and Thomas. Penny a decent lead block. Price probably can get off to this linebacker a little faster, but I'm not going to get too mad at that one. And it's negative one yards. Like this is This is not on Saquon at all Not on Saquon at all That's Thomas That's Thomas and Skrull not getting any movement And the tight end Chris Myrick getting shed in his block Next play negative three yards Draw a play What's 26 supposed to do here this is either badly uh, executed or badly uh, designed. 
Because this player is leaving, being left unblocked on purpose. Solder does his job getting to the second level. They're influencing these two players. Who's coming to here? Billy Price? Is it because... Maybe Billy Price is supposed to play the gap. They're supposed to play the gap next to them, and Hernandez should loop around. It's either Billy Price or Will Hernandez's fault. I don't know how this was drawn up, but from what we looked at earlier in the game from Billy Price and Matt Skura, it looks like this is on Billy Price. I mean, he sniffs this out. They saw this play earlier in the game. They know it's a screen, uh, a draw. You got negative three yards. Should have been negative six, but Saquon makes the guy miss. Or not miss, but <laughs> is able to crawl forward for an extra three. That's that's totally on either Billy Price or Will Hernandez. Next play, seven yards. This is Jumbo. We got Matt Parrott, Chris Myrick. Evan Ingram. Three tight end set. Jumbo tight end. Seven yards. Let's see what happens to get seven yards. Just adequate blocking. Not great blocking. Adequate. Let's look. Let's let's check it out. You got Myrick working out here. Parrot. Is this a great block by Parrot? No. But it's a good enough. He doesn't get washed down. Andrew Thomas and Matt Skura. Doubling to the linebacker. Skur comes off. Thomas washing his guy out. Billy Price. Just not getting shed. Not even a good block, but just not getting shed. Hernandez coming off, getting to the linebacker. Solder not getting totally washed into down into the in, into the running back's lap. And he gets seven yards. Now, he could be a little more aggressive here, but he gets in, move, get down. Seven yards. Next play, negative four yards. I mean, Soldier deserves a lot of blame for this. But here's something I'm going to say. This is kind of a losing battle anyways. He's lined up inside of him. He's pointed in. I mean, he's basically just got like a sprinter stance to where the running back is going. You got to give some help. Or cut block this. Roll through this. Cut block this. Because you can't, I don't care if that's Andrew Thomas, if that's Trent Williams. I'm I just not expecting my right tackle to make that block. Maybe not as bad as this. But that's a tough block to make, man. And he falls steps. It's hard to see his left foot. I saw it on the broadcast angle. But that's a tough block to make. And it's not great on the front side either. You see paired on his knees. Negative four yards. That's not, that's sh- that one surely isn't on Saquon. Negative uh negative one yards. This is on third and twenty three. Um, so I'm not gonna really touch on this much. They're that's outside. They're, you know, trying to get outside. If this was first and ten, second and six, I would be like Saquon, just go, 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 get outside to the corner. But because it's third and twenty three, I see him like I I get that he's trying to. Like, you should be going for the home run on this. Getting. An extra five yards, all that does is bump up your yards per carry. I'm glad he's not sacrificing, trying to make a big play over, you know, having a better yards per carry average. So I'm not going to spend much time on that one. All right. One yard run. Inside a zone. Versus stack box. I mean, let's check it. We've got seven blockers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So they got every gap aligned, uh, acc- you know, accounted for. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Every gap accounted for. 
And Ingram just kind of gets thrown on this. And this is a this this is hey this is actually an, a good example for Saquon to be like hey I know you were trying to get to this C gap D gap I know that's where you were trying to go but just go just go and you get one yard instead of negative one yard but they were trying to get you could see by the way Thomas is blocking that they're trying to they're trying to get through here. And Ingram just gets shed. So good adjustment on 26 on that one. Uh, run a read option to get five yards on this. Again, read option is a way to run against the stack box. You got, again, seven blockers. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, I think there's another player who comes in and fills. No, so not even. Now, good job on this linebacker by not following Ingram. But running back plays the core, or, you know, uh, defensive end plays the QB. Again, just adequate, adequate blocking. Turns into a four yard gain. Not even, just not good blocking. Yeah, got Thomas. Skur wins his battle. Billy Price gets up to the linebacker. And even this, Hernandez and. Hernandez and Solder get squeezed down. Or, or at least Hernandez does. Solder doesn't. Now I will say, Solder, flip those hips around. But you get five yards out of it. A five, a five yard run is a good run. Next play, you get a four yard run. This is an example. This is Saquon, you know, taking a, what should be the zero yard gain and turning it into a four yard gain. Here, let's watch. Let's look at individually Will Hernandez and Nate Solder. Fire off the ball. I mean, you see, you you gotta you gotta be working to get some movement. I mean, look how slow Will Hernandez is out of his stance on this play. He's not firing through. This looks like it's like it looks like it's play action. You know, like Billy Price is way overextended, gets spun out of, which Saquon has to you know uh, you know cut off of that. But at least he's firing off the ball, trying to move someone. Well, Snate Solder too. Fire off the ball. That's, I don't expect those guys, you know, Nate Solder to get, well, Willow should get be getting some movement in the run game. Nate Solder's not going to do that, but he at least fire off the ball, man. Again, Billy Price gets spun out of. Thomas isn't able to cross his face. Skur gives enough help to where Thomas should be able to get around through there. Skur gets off to the linebacker well. So Saquon taking, you know, what could have been a zero yard gain, turning into four yards. Then the last one, this was on the last drive of the game. One yard run, stack box. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You got this. This is one where I'll say, Saquon, run harder. Like, you know, you got a stack box. What is. What is this? What's that? Just go. Just go. Because if you just go, you might be able to turn this into, you know, you might turn this into three or four yards. If you don't do all that, if you just go, just go. I know I know he's getting washed down, but do you have this player back here? So even if he, if he gets washed down and you break off of that, that player is there. Just go. Go. Get three or four yards. That makes, you know, that 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 would help your offense end this game on this drive. Just go now. Will and Solder, Hernandez and Solder. Solder not able to cross the face. Billy Price does a good job. May took it a false step, but he gets movement. But the left side gets movement now. They're on. <laughs> 
they're ahead of their skis, which sometimes you need to do. You know, Thomas and Skur are both on the ground. So this is a bad job on Soldier. But at the same time, like, they know what you're doing here. Run harder. Run harder. So, again, I, I think there's blame to go around on, on, on Saquon as far as the way he runs. But I also think, like, I wanted to do this to show, like, hey, you know what? It's a losing battle, you know? Like when we talk, when when you're saying that, we're talking about you know getting maybe turning a, a one yard gain into a, a three four yard gain, which is valuable. It, it is valuable, but it's like man, this is this is just a really bad run blocking unit. You know, this isn't last year where you had good run blockers and Nick Gates, um, and and Shane Lemieux and Kevin Zeitler and, and you know Cam Fleming was an upgrade over Nate Solder. This isn't that. This is a bad bad run blocking crew. So like and subscribe.